Hey guys, welcome to Tutu Talk, and this week we're doing pet peeves. If you're just starting to watch the collab, then I'm Grace, and I record every Monday. Um, if I offend any of you with my pet peeves, I'm really sorry. This is just my opinion and stuff I don't like personally, and I don't want to offend any of you or make you mad or upset. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just things I don't like. So, um, I'm gonna get to it. Please don't hate me. Um, so first off, I hate when to class you wear your Aeropostal v-neck t-shirt and spandex shorts over your tights and you have your hair in this messy bun on the top of your head, like right there, with your Lululemon headbands. I can't stand it. It ruins your line. It looks unprofessional. It just, it's kind of disrespectful to the teacher because it's like something you where to school or the mall sorry it's just I don't oh, I think it's awful in dancing it doesn't look nice when you're dancing you're dancing with the lines it's just something I don't like and I wouldn't do but um sorry pet peeve number one apology number one sorry um I hate when you're not paying attention when people are just spaced out and like chewing on their nails or fixing their hair, I hate it. If your hair is falling out, go ahead and fix it. But if you're not paying attention and you don't learn steps, I'm going to freak out. I'm just going to... Because last year, since some people weren't paying attention, it took us three months to learn steps. I knew it. A lot of people I knew knew it. But these certain people just didn't know it. So we didn't get to technique till after Christmas, when it was like two months to exams. That's not cool. Pay attention, learn the exams, or else I will pop your head off like a little dandelion. That was a very scary thing to say, and I apologize, but I just blurt everything out I don't think before I say anything. So be careful of that when you watch my videos, please. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, uh, chewing gum. Don't do it doing plies at the bar. That was probably a very attractive face. Don't chew gum. It's the most annoying thing in the world when you're doing dancing. It's just disgusting. Disgusting. It's disgusting. Would you love to go to a performance and see some girl chewing gum? Mm -mm. Same thing. Class is just like a performance. You gotta give 110%. Don't chew gum. That made no sense what to do with the 110% not chewing gum. But that's just how I'm gonna phrase it. Um, this is where I get mean. This is where you're gonna hate me. It's when you're put too far ahead in a level for you just because of your age. I get that a lot in my studio. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Sorry. Whoa, what happened there? I hate it. I want to just shoot my head off. It's not like even if you're a beginner, I understand that, and like you want to get back to dancing because you had so much fun and you quit it. I understand that. It's great that you're doing that, but sometimes it's almost too far ahead for a beginner. And I know how it feels to be put. I know how I felt when I was put too far ahead when I was younger and in a in a level. Even though I've been dancing since I was three, it's scary. Honestly, it's so scary for me, and I just think that you guys are scared because we're in like advanced one and if you get put in there we have our legs by our ears you're just starting up i would be scared out of my mind if that happened to me and i had when i was 10 and i just go in and they have their legs all by up their ears and i'm just like woohoo 90 degrees Yay. I, i'm just i feel bad and like it kind of drags down the class for the people that work so hard and i know so many people that are like just to, these are the, like, the lazy ones too that they're like 16 and they're in a certain level and just because they're 16 they don't want to be with like the 12 and 13 year olds and they don't stretch they don't take extra time to get better and those are the ones that I hate not the like the beginners the people that are just there and they don't care the ones that don't care that that works that makes me sound like a nicer person sorry okay um bras and leotards ruins the lines yeah, I get it if you're bigger, but please, please, if you can avoid it, if you are tiny right here like I am, sorry for gesturing there, but you know, as I said, just blurts out, please don't wear a sports bra with your leotard. Just, oh, it looks awful. And if you have a pretty leotard, you won't want to ruin the lines and the prettiness on the back or the front. Don't do it. 
I get it if you're a D or a double D or a C, but there are leotards that have power mesh in them. That stuff makes you, like, cardboard. So, just do that. Um, also don't wear just a broad pants in your spandex to modern and jazz. Don't do that. Don't do that. That is disrespectful. That's too much skin for dancing. It's just, it seems so disrespectful to the teacher. Please don't do it. I get it if you're hot and it's in the middle of August, but... I just find it so disrespectful. Wear a tank top. Wear, just wear a tank top. Built in bra. There's so many other options than doing that. Here's where you're probably all gonna hate me and probably click on subscribe to me. Don't do it to do talk. I'm the only one on this collab you're gonna hate, probably. Sorry. I don't particularly like competition dance as me doing it. Or when the competition dancers come into the professional training school, which I'm at. It's not an actual professional school, but it's kind of a lot more technical. I, don't get me wrong, I love watching competition dance. I think it's great to watch. It's so entertaining. And I appreciate your dancing. I appreciate everyone's dancing. Please understand that for everything I've just talked about. I appreciate all dancers and how hard they work and everything. Just please understand that. I appreciate everyone. I appreciate everyone. I think it's incredible. You're good at what you're doing. You're all, we are awful at doing like expression in our faces at my school. And so I appreciate you guys for having cheerful faces and emotion in your face when you don't dance on stage. I appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that you can do aerial. I don't know anyone who can do an aerial at my school. So I appreciate you guys. I just don't particularly like actual competition dancing, but I like to watch it. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. I like it, but I don't like it. That's my opinion. Yeah, I'm not going to go too much detail into that anymore. Yep. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I really don't wish I don't have to post this video, but I said I would. And this is me. My honest opinion. I just, I let, I let everything come out. I apologize, please don't hate me. I appreciate all dances. I love all dances. I love all of you. There's so much love. If I wasn't holding my camera, I would make a heart sign. But I love all of you. All of you. Please don't hate me. See you next week if you still don't hate me and you still decide to watch my videos. Bye!